Okay, this is kind of a part two of working on uh, rebuilding a motor. This is a uh, blade motor from a General Electric Electrac mower. This is off the E15, and uh, so far I took off, I took the motor off the deck. I took off the cap and the commutator. Uh, the bearing on this end looked good, but I think the trouble was up in this end. However, this little hub holds the blade on, and I couldn't get that off. So I talked to a couple of guys, and they said use a bearing separator. So I got this little doohickey, rented this from the hardware store, put this on around under that hub there, and then used a puller to go on the top to push down on a 5 16 bolt right down the middle to uh, pull this hub up, and lo and behold, it actually worked. So I guess uh, PB blastering it every day for the last week was a good thing. Um, so now I've got that bit off and I should be able to start pulling this thing apart. Okay, there's the armature. Uh, once I got that little hub off the end here, I was able to just very gently tap the shaft down with the, uh, the whole thing kind of uh, held over the edge of the workbench here. And then uh, I was able to get the armature out, and sure enough, commutator doesn't look bad. Bearing here is fine, but down on the bottom end, that bearing is pretty much seized up. It's a little rusty cover, rusted right off. So I'm going to have to pull this bearing off, replace it, clean up the shaft, clean this all up, maybe uh, polish up the commutator. But uh, that right there, that's obviously the reason why uh, this was not spinning freely. So next step, replace that bearing. I don't have that bearing in front of me, so you'll have to wait till next time. And I bet this little piece here came off from somewhere down there and got in here. So, uh, time to fix that up. Okay, it's been another uh, 10 minutes since that last section of video. And sure enough, I was able to get that bearing off, use a little good old PB blaster, and I still have that bearing splitter and puller. Um, so this big... Ah! Don't roll away! It's bad. Don't do that with armatures. That's, that's not a good thing to do with armatures. Uh, so on the shaft, there's kind of a little lip. So when I put that bearing puller on, I closed it up but tried to not catch that lip. And then uh, this, I was able to get to slowly slide, 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 pop it off the end. No identification. So I'll have to take this to a bearing shop, have them measure it, and uh, find me a new one like that. And then... Uh, use some emery cloth, clean this up, get a new bearing, um, new square key for the, uh, the shaft up here, and then I should be able to put the whole thing back together.